Hello, gamers. Did, or, uh, Merc 2.0, how you guys doing? Yeah, did a little shaving. Anyways, guys, I want to bring you this. Uh, Navy plans armed guards for reserve centers out of AOL. Uh, da, 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 da. Look at that. As soon as I do this, look at that. That is wrong that they did that. That's not right. Hang on, guys. So here we go. Navy plans armed guards for reserve center. Yeah, we know it's for the Chattanooga Center. Look at that. All right, well, that's one that, okay, we'll be able to do this. Hang on, it'll come sooner or later. Via NBC News. So, basically, after the Chattanooga shooting, Navy plans to station armed guards at all its reserve centers across the country, says NBC News. Make sure I'm recording. I am. Everything is good. Okay, so make sure. Uh, an email sent from Naval Reservists nine days ago after the attack obtained by NBC News says volunteers needed immediately to provide 45 days of armed sentry watch duty 53 NOSCs or Navy Reserve Centers beginning August 17 also asked for volunteers to provide a full year of armed sentry duty at 70 Reserve Centers starting October 17th. Navy confirmed NBC News that it plans to station armed personnel at 70 Reserve Centers that are not located on military bases. Uh, the guards would be reservists called to active duty on all volunteer bases. So this is basically it here folks. I don't care how much you say or how much you do this. Um, but basically the head of the Marine Corps Commander Lieutenant General uh, Mark Berlenskis sentimental advising Marine recruiters not to support the armed citizens and to call local law enforcement. Uh, he said their presence while well, uh, well intentioned will be counterproductive to the recruiting operations. So on July 30, two weeks after the Chattanooga shootings and five days after a Navy email to reservists asking for armed guard volunteers, Defense Secretary Ash Carter issued a memo for more service personnel to be armed, particularly at off-site installations, including recruiting centers. So there's a lot here. This is coming from NBC. I kind of find it weird that um, NBC is actually doing AOL. Usually it's uh, Reuters. Uh, I am using a different computer at the moment, but as you can see, everything is quite flawless at the moment. So thanks, guys.